Hey guys, this is Dr. Moore with Cumberland Chiropractic and Sports Medicine. Today we're going to be talking about the safety of chiropractic. We're going to be talking about the three most common um, concerns people typically have when they're thinking about receiving chiropractic care if they never have before. And then we're going to dive into what the science has to say about it. So if you or someone you know is apprehensive about chiropractic care, then stick around. Hey guys, so the first and biggest concern people typically have with chiropractic care, if they haven't had it before, is does chiropractic care cause a stroke, right? We've seen this story in newspapers or online articles sometimes, uh, a few times a year probably, um, but what's actually going on here? So um, the stroke that these stories are talking about uh, concern an artery that runs through your neck. If you can see this uh, orange line as it courses through the bones in the neck, this is your vertebral artery. Um, people who have a weakness in that artery or who have had an injury to that artery can either form a cut within it or can form uh, blood clots. Uh, and if those blood clots are dislodged, they will travel to the blood brain and ca cause a stroke. So chiropractic has been blamed for either the injury of this artery or dislodging of those clots causing those strokes. But what do the numbers have to say about this? So the Annals of Medicine released a study in March of 2019 that found that Chiropractic is not a cause for cervical artery dissection and stroke, and this actually mirrored uh, results found from previous studies that took place in 2016, 2015, and 2008. Um, in fact, one study found that patients were 76% more likely to suffer a stroke shortly following a visit to a medical doctor or primary care physician. And am I, am I saying that medical doctors are causing strokes? Absolutely not. What I'm telling you is that when someone has an injury to the cervical artery or is starting to form a clot in their neck, they're going to develop symptoms such as headache, neck pain, dizziness, and when they have those things happen, they're going to seek care from either a medical doctor or a chiropractor. So what about the adjustment of the neck? How risky is it to have a chiropractor manipulate the spine of your neck? Um, well, you might be surprised. A recent study that uh, measured the amount of stress that takes place at the vertebral artery found that you actually put more stress at that artery in your neck when you, let's say, back out of your driveway or turn your neck as far as you can to one side or the other. Um, I'm going to give you a visual analogy of that. Dr. House is going to help me out. So study finds this three times the force on that scary artery than that. Any questions? Perfect. But Dr. Moore, I hear you shouting into your computer monitor, haven't there been people that have had a stroke directly following a chiropractic adjustment? And to that, I would say yes. In rare circumstances, it has happened. But when people have a vertebral artery injury or are forming a blood clot, these clots can dislodge sometimes for seemingly no reason. Uh, to illustrate this, I'm gonna talk about a story that happened just last week. A 23-year-old UK girl uh, dis dissected her vertebral artery while she was laying in bed watching TV and turned to stretch her neck. So she's forming this clot in a vessel in her neck. She turns, dislodges the clot, has a stroke. So if this same girl had gone to the doctor's office earlier that day, left with some medicine for a headache, something like that, she would have had the same stroke. If she turned her head back out of her driveway, might have had the same stroke, went to a chiropractor, probably had the same stroke. All these events are the same, but I'll tell you which one sells more newspapers. So all of this is to say, in my opinion, chiropractic does not put you at an increased risk for stroke. Does that mean we're blameless? No, it does not. We, uh, we have to minimize the risks of our patients having a stroke. We do that by taking a thorough exam with a thorough history and checking off all the boxes to make sure that manipulation of the neck is safe while still getting the best results possible. Okay, so the second most common concern about chiropractic, will a chiropractic adjustment break or fracture my bones? And the answer to that is short and sweet, almost assuredly not. So that popping sound that you hear during the chiropractic adjustment, that's not bones breaking or bones hitting against one another. That's actually a sound that comes from the stretching of the joint capsule in between the bones of the spine. Now, now uh, fractures do occur. They're typically rib fractures, and they usually happen in people that have osteoporosis and it's just undiagnosed. And there are no good studies, to my knowledge, that document how frequently that happens, but I did find a study um, that documented all malpractice cases against chiropractors from the year 2004 to 2012, and it found that rib injuries made up about 3% of those claims, comes out to about 11 cases in those eight years. So it's a rare occurrence among rare occurrences. 
that your uh, bone would be fractured. Okay, so the last typical concern people have about chiropractic is, does chiropractic hurt? And science says, yes, sometimes a little bit. So about 33% of patients report some post-treatment soreness following a chiropractic treatment. And in an office like ours, where we combine muscle work and rehab exercises with the typical chiropractic uh, adjusting or manipulation, uh, I do tell patients that you might feel a little bit of like post-workout soreness in the area that we treated, but patients um, are generally excited. You know, we do a lot of stuff in here, so if something's changed, they usually feel better. So uh, small price to pay for a little bit of soreness uh, for a few hours after treatment. Okay guys, I know this was a really long video, so thanks for hanging in there. In conclusion, chiropractic is a very safe form of treatment based on the studies and research that we have. Um, it is an effective form of treatment for many musculoskeletal conditions, and I think that it should always be tried before long-term use of drugs or surgery for a problem. But um, with all that being said, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you know somebody who's maybe a little bit apprehensive about trying chiropractic, share this video with them or post it on your timeline. And as always, if you have any questions or comments about any of the stuff we talked about, leave it with the video. This has been Dr. Moore with Cumberland Chiropractic and Sports Medicine, where we get you better, faster.